hello, hello, and welcome to my show. Uh, I didn't realize that I had it scheduled. Don't look at my hair. First off, don't look at my hair. Don't look at my hair. I forgot my mic. Um, I didn't realize I had it scheduled for 5.30 because I did it this morning and I was really tired. So Sandra just called me and was like, uh, are you coming? And I was like, it's not till 6, bitch. And then, yeah. So here I am. I'm here. Thank you, Sandra. Yeah. So, thank you. So, uh, <laughs> let's see. Let's see what who's here. Let me say hello to people. How embarrassing of me. If you're watching the replay, comment down below and let me know you're watching the replay. Sorry I'm late. I'm going to see who's here. So we have Sabrina, Chris, and Kel. I'm thinking it's Kel. Baby Cakes, where are you? Here I am. Charnay, hello. Naomi. Uh, Berta, I'm reading... <laughs> I'm reading all the comments as I'm seeing who's here. Uh, baby cakes, Naomi, Charnay, I already said that. Um, hi, <laughs> Berta. Oh my goodness. Oh my god, you guys are so funny. Sandra, hi, thank you so much. Yeah, yeah, Jeremy, I meant to go live at 5 p.m. at 6 p.m. my time today, but I am dumb and I did not realize that I had it scheduled for 5.30 instead. And I was like, I'm going to make dinner. So I was making dinner and I was like, oh, I have so much time. And then, yeah, yeah, yeah. I'm going to be going live to be specific. I'm going to be going live at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every Tuesday. That is my new time. Unfortunately, this week I am just not on the ball, so that is why I am late. Downtown Abbey is so good. I watched I watched all of it twice, and I think I'm going to watch it a third time. So good. Ah, uh, thank you. Thank you for the <laughs> Thank you for the hot dog. Thanks, baby cakes. I love it to start my live off with a good hot dog. Thank you for the black cat, Sani. Thank you, sissy. <laughs> you guys are so silly. The, the wiener will lure her here. Throwing wieners at your face, Bev. Come out. You guys are hilarious. Um, it is really cold in Alberta, Sabrina. You're right. It's it's very it's very cold. And today, tomorrow morning is garbage day. And I need to take the garbage out. And I'm like, I don't want to go back outside. So I was like, maybe I think if Laura shows up, I'm just going to tell Laura to force me to take out the garbage. So that's a thing. That's a thing. Cats and wieners. Come out, little beaver. I'm here. I'm here. I know I didn't call you a bitch, Sandra. I was just joking. I didn't actually call you a bitch. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> you guys, Christopher, hello, Fleta, hello, I'm glad you can make it, Kristen, aka Colette Designs, hello, Lisa, hi, okay, thank you for stopping by to say hi, TSL, hi, Raxify is here, I was just thinking about you the other day, Raxify, I don't remember what, but I think it had to do something with your Instagram, Stacy, hi, Stacy, bound chicka brown cow, woo -wee. And then, okay, I think I'm caught up. Sani, you're on season three? Oh my goodness. Sani, you haven't watched the entire thing, have you? Okay, I think Raxify, I was thinking because, I know, I was thinking because you're international. I was like, how is Raxify ordering all this stuff and paying a billion dollars for shipping? That's what I was thinking. Hi, Marlene. Ah. Spam. Spammer in chat. Mm. Okay. Thank you, Jeremy. I'm having ballpark beef hot dogs for dinner with tater tots. Oh, my God. That sounds so good. That sounds so good. Have you guys tried? There's like this tea. This is watermelon lemon or something like that. There's this tea you can buy in the tea aisle and it's specifically, you put it in iced, if you put it in iced water and then that's how you brew it. It's so freaking good. Mm, I want hot dogs now. 
literally before this, uh, Clayton's mom gave us, you know, those like HelloFresh. I don't know if you guys have HelloFresh in the States. I think you do because some YouTubers are sponsored by them. But yeah, so she gave us like, there's another company that's similar to that. She gave us two meals from them and I made one meal on Sunday and then I was like, oh shit, like I have to make this other meal. So I just made it today just so the ingredients wouldn't go bad. And it's like uh, East Indian, like a curry and naan bread type thing. But I'm not feeling, I don't feel like eating that tonight. So I literally just made it before the live and then I just put it in the fridge and I'm like, what a waste. Because I'll just eat it tomorrow or something. Hi, Sally, aka Homespun Hobby. Hi, Chaotic. About to go through another cold snap, snap and be back to minus four. Ugh. Chaotic, where are you from again? It's literally the worst. Literally the worst. Oh, yeah. So if you guys, I haven't tried it yet, but Sally from Homespun Hobby messaged me or emailed me and she said she has principal printable diamond paintings on her site so you can download them and then print them out onto paper and then diamond paint them I haven't tried it yet but I'm going to I like I'm gonna go through I have this giant bag of drills you guys might have seen it before I have this giant bag of drills and I'm gonna go through and um and use the the spare drills like from that bag and make a really weird ladybug the weather back east has been nuts. Nobody seems to know how to drive in snow. Bev, are they any? So for the first snowfall, usually people suck at driving and they're just driving like really slow. And then for the rest of the year, people are pretty good. But I noticed that um, a lot of people who aren't used to the snow, like people who might have immigrated to Edmonton or from or from people who are from warm countries they're not entirely sure how to drive in the snow so that sometimes um can cause traffic delays i guess and just like i don't know some people just suck at driving in the snow in saskatchewan oh i can't imagine chaotic seriously i can't we just had a loud bang underneath we're building oh no Berta, I hope you're okay. My A pipe burst in my parents' house twice this winter. One time last winter, one time this winter. Anyways, recently a pipe burst in my parents' electricity, electrical room in their house. And it, it flooded like just that room, thankfully. And thankfully they were home to catch it. And my dad w is handy enough to have fixed it. But that's, that's really scary. I hope you're okay, Berta. Ah, uh, hi, Butter. Hello, my little Buttercup. Butter, you're a Buttercup. Hmm. People in Alabama, Alabama and Georgia are coolest. Do the, does it snow in Alabama? Hi, Gracie. Berta, was it God's child saying hello? What does that even mean, Gracie? <laughs> okay. Have fun reading Thor. Oh, Jeremy, I was watching. So because Jeremy's listening, I guess. Um. I was watching, what was I watching? Oh, I was watching this girl who, I, I like got sucked into TikTok. Guys, I can't stay off TikTok. Literally, if I'm like, I don't know what to do, I'm bored, I just go on TikTok. But I was watching these this girl who collects reptiles and she was showing all her reptiles. She also collects insects. So she has like spiders as pets and stuff. And some of them are actually really cute. But I know if I saw them in real life, I would like die. But yeah, her reptiles were really cute. And she had like a gecko and um, whatever. What is what is Jeremy's Jeremy's Thor again? I forget what he is. I don't remember. Does anyone remember what Jeremy's lizard thing is? <laughs> That's, that's what I'm thinking of. It's not a generalization, is it? Stephanie, hi, Stephanie. I didn't, I didn't. <laughs> Stephanie, you missed it. So I, I thought, I, I had it in my head that I was going to be live at 6 tonight. And then I, this morning when I was like, I got back from boot camp and I was rushing to get ready because I have to go to my sister's to babysit. And then I scheduled my live then instead. 
and it was at 5.30 instead of 6. So no, I'm going back to 6. It's going to be 6 from now on. I'm going to put a post-it note. For some reason, I just scheduled it for 5.30. And then Sander called me and was like, uh, we're waiting for you. And I was like, oh, I'm doing it at 6. And she's like, no, like, we're waiting for you. I was like, oh, okay. <laughs> so my bad, my bad. Thanks, Sandra, for the holla. Yes, a bearded dragon. That is that is what I was thinking of. Bearded dragon, yeah. Breaded dragon. <laughs> but yeah, that's what I was thinking of. What is Berta going for? I missed it. Mommy, hi, Mommy. Sorry I missed you. Hi, Mommy Lo. How are you? Did I miss anyone else coming in? Berta... What is, I shall change my name again. Berta, don't change your name. Stop changing your name. Stop. Okay, there's too many of these people. Seriously, these people who like put stuff in chat are so annoying. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you for taking care of that, Jeremy. Ah, you're the worst. So we get an hour and a half. I guess, I mean, I did, I was only here like 15 minutes ago like 10 minutes ago stephanie so i mean i can hang out for that long bev hi bev hi chocolate starfish <laughs> berta no berta why did you do that berta why did you do that <laughs> berta changed her name to chocolate starfish guys <laughs> oh my goodness huh <sighs> Hi, fine. Back to work vacations. I know. So it was so sad because like it was it was Christmas, Christmas Eve, Christmas, Boxing Day. And then there's New Year's Eve and the New Year's. And then once New Year's is over, it's kind of like now it's just winter. Like now it's just back to normal and the magic of the holidays is over. It's just it's just winter. And that makes me so depressed. I know, Amber. Totally. Hello, Amber. Hi, Angie. Marlene says I. <laughs> hi, Lazy River. Hi, Matt. Hey, Bev. Are you bringing Rufus out to say hi to everyone? Who's Rufus? Hi, Amelia Pug Mom. Hello. Please don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as you come in. Hi, everyone. I'm trying to make sure I say hi to people. But yeah, there's too many people who just like drop these weird porn links in chat. And it's like so annoying. Don't look at my hair. Don't look at my hair. I wish I had. Do I have a headband? I have a headband. Rufus is what I call your possum. That's not his name, though. And Rufus is a dog name. What up, Matster? I hate typing on my tablet in lives. I hate typing on my tablet. I hate typing on my phone. I hate typing on anything except my computer. It's Oscar. Yes, it is Oscar. Thank you, Sabrina. His name is Oscar. Hi, Bev. My fart face bouncy. The pug says hello. I love pugs. Pugs are so adorable. I would like a pug one day. Bouncy, the pug. That's so cute. That's so cute, Amelia. Hello, Bouncy. So today I babysat the babies. Well, they're not babies. They're like literally four years old. I babysat my nephews and they're so cute. Um, I really like hanging out with them lately because they're more interactive and they're like, where's Crayon? And I'm like, Crayon's at work. And they're like, oh, no Crayon. And then I'm like, do you guys want to make a card for Crayon? We can say make a card and say we miss you and then so they were sitting there crafting all these cards for crayon and then one one of them I still can't tell them apart because they're twins I can't tell my nephews apart one of them one of the little buddies the little buddy just like was like how do you say how do you spell I love you and I was like oh my god that is so adorable and then my sister said that they talk about me and crayon a lot and they talk about me and crayon more than they talk about anyone else and she's like, I think they like crayon so much because it doesn't seem like he tries because he just he doesn't like kids. He finds it awkward and like he's just like not into kids. Um, and he there she was saying like because he doesn't try hard to like get their attention or anything. So 
they really like climbing on him and like asking him for help. So I thought that was cute. I got a head tilt. Yes. Christopher, you can't have everyone's dogs. Christopher. Hi, Needle Sharp. No, you're not late. I was early. I was early. Oscar. Oscar the Opossum. You're really going to have to learn. I can't. <laughs> One of them, I was like, I was like, are you Luke or Neo? And he's like, I'm Luke. And I was like, okay. And then sometimes they talk about themselves in the first person. So they'll be like, Lukey wants to watch TV. And like, he means himself. But then they're, I think they stop referring themselves to themselves in third person or first person, whatever. And so they're like, Lukey wants to watch TV. And then I was like, well, what do you want to do? And he's like, I'm Lukey. And I was like, what? I thought he was Luke because he was say talking about himself. And then, no. So it's just very confusing. Just very confusing. Hi, Arlene. Christopher, you're not taking my kitties. Leave them alone. You can't have them. Just fur babies. Christopher wants all your babies, even if they're human babies, everyone. I'm just catching up in chat. We will visit you, but you can't take my pug. See, Amelia at least is nice and is like, we'll visit you, Chris, but you can't, you can't take them. Oh my God, Sharnay, you have a wiener dog. That's so cute. Do you feel like that, like they confuse you on purpose? Um, I don't think they confuse me on purpose because for the most part, I just don't call them by their names. And then I'm like, if one of, <laughs> one of them went to the bathroom, and I was like, hey, why are you taking so long in there? And he, like, never responded. And I was like, I don't know which twin left. So I was like, hey, buddy, why are you taking so long in there? And I called him buddy. And then he realized I was talking to him. <laughs> was like, just, like, calling them buddy or bro and stuff. I don't know. <laughs> you should secretly tattoo your twin nephews. I should. I should tattoo them. Slap a sticker. Well, it was easy because... On New Year's Eve, when we went for dinner with my family, one of them, one of them, I don't know which, I can't remember which one now. One of them had a paper cut, so he had a Band-Aid, and I was like, okay, Band-Aid boy equals whichever twin, and I was like, okay, okay, and that was really easy to remember. And they don't exactly look alike, like, they're, they're, they're identical twins, but one of them looks like more baby face than the other one, but I don't remember which one is the baby face and which one is like the non-baby face. <laughs> I'm the worst aunt ever. I am a Pomeranian. Tucker, sometimes a fucker. Randy, don't you talk to Nightbot that way. Nightbot is the best bond besides Jeremy. Christopher wants to... <gasps> Laura, you're here! Hi, Laura! Christopher wants to push his gay agenda on all the fur babies. <laughs> I'm so happy you're here, Laura. I need, I need your help, Laura. I saw that there was a storm there. Oh, and I saw there was a fire in Colorado. Is anyone here from Colorado? I hope everyone's okay. Um, Laura, I need you to tell me that I need to take the trash out today. Like... Just be like, Shug, you need to take the trash out today. Because I need to take the trash out, but part of me is like, it's cold outside. I don't want to go back outside. And then I was like, I bet if Laura's in chat, she'll yell at me and tell me to take the garbage outside. Chocolate starfish. She's still going with that name, Berta. Matt, I already said hi to you. Oh, you're talking to Laura. My son here is alive and he wants to take more than usual alive and he wants to take more than usual more than what of usual okay thank you laura <laughs> thank you laura oh thank you jeremy for dealing with that uh grace sally wants to know if you've seen her email not a furry person as for my gay agenda is a secret <laughs> I want a rag doll. Huh. <laughs> I love that Berta changed her name. <laughs> I'm 
Minnesota is ready for the snowstorm. Oh, no. Angie, please stay safe if you're in Minnesota. That sounds so scary. Ragdoll cats are so free. What are ragdoll cats? I'm going to have to look it up. Ragdoll cats. Oh, my God. Ragdolls are so cute. Look at their faces. Their little faces. The babies. They're so floofy. I like them. I want a ragdoll. I want a black ragdoll. That would be cool. Except I feel like they would um shed a lot. They would shed a lot, I feel. Bev, I forgot to ask you to watch the movie that Diane... Yes, uh, I forget what the movie was that Diane Ord was in. Something about Robot or something like that? I have watched it, yes. I think I've watched it twice, but I don't remember what it's called. It's really good, though. I like them. I wish they would come back. I'm sure that they're doing something and I just, like, haven't paid attention to it. But I like their money or their their music. I don't know why I said money. Oh, here. I know I got scammed out of $400 to buy. Oh, I'm sorry you got scammed. I missed it because Aiden wouldn't shut the fuck up. Aiden, STFU. <laughs> they bought in maintenance to see if they can... Berta, you should go, you should go investigate. They do shed a lot, but it's fun brushing them. Yeah, I could see that. A massive orgy is the banging Christopher. Of course you would say that. Ragdolls need a lot of brushing. Movie, yes, Chappie. That's what it was, Chappie. Yeah, Charnay, I like that movie. I just, I like it. I like them. I love that song, Ugly Boy. Ooh, I love my ugly boy. <laughs> training cats, like training spouses. I already do. I do have the cat brush. Where is the cat brush? The cat, oh, the cat brush is here and it's full of cat brush hair. Stacy, you'd be so proud of me. I actually use the cat brush for the cats. This is Scruffy. Scruffy sheds more than Kenzu. I need to clean that brush. <laughs> He wanted to talk about how you sound. I sound like death, Stephanie? Aiden said that I sound like death. Oh, that makes me sad. Don't encourage Bev to use brush. Oh my God, clean that damn brush. Rude. Ugh, there's lots of pubes in that brush. <laughs> you guys, it's my cat brush. I was brushing him earlier today. Or yesterday, I mean. It's not dirty. It's just his hair. Don't use it, Bev. I'm not going to use it. I don't want to take my hair down. That's too much work. Whatever, Laura. Whatever. He said Matt sounds like death. Oh. Oh, no, Matt. I'm sorry. I'm sorry if you're sick. That sucks, Matt. Hair is too fine to be pubes. Whatever, guys. It's not pubes. It's my cat hair. It's my cat's hair. So Clayton, Clayton left on Monday. Was Monday yesterday? Yeah, he left yesterday, guys, and I'm very sad. He won't be coming back till late February, I think. Whenever family day, the stat, stat holiday family day is, that's when. Why are you not drinking out of a hydro giant hydro? Oh, because I, I discovered that tea that you brew cold in a cup or a water bottle. So I, I'm just drinking that tea because I felt like something flavored. I'm sorry that Matt is sick. That sucks. That really does suck. Um, but yeah, so Clayton got a kitchenette this time in his hotel room, which is nice. And he has two fridges and a freezer. So he's like excited about that. And he bought one of those things that's like, a hot, uh, like a electric frying pan type thing. So he's like pretty much all set for that stuff. Um, and still no word about his car when it will be ready, which is kind of shitty, but yeah. My cats are screaming. Did you get tested, Lazy River? Why are they screaming? Because Adam is in the shower. More like your brush 
bush brush? No, it's not Naomi, you guys. No. No, you guys are the worst. Christopher, I've seen some that isn't curly. It's straight and silky. Manscaped, please. Mine isn't. Mine isn't curly. Is my, I don't, I haven't really grown my hair down there long enough to actually, like, investigate how, like, if it's curly or straight. Because they love Adam and hate, no, they love you, bush brush. All pubes are curly, Bev. Well, I'll, I'll let you guys know because Clayton is gone for, like, seven weeks. So I'll grow mine out. <laughs> And I'll let you guys know if it's curly or not. I feel like it's not curly. Is it going to be curly? I never realized you have a heart-shaped forehead. What do you mean? <laughs> what do you mean, Arlene? <laughs> is it heart? Oh, it is heart-shaped. <laughs> I didn't under... I didn't understand. Is that bad? Is that weird to have this little tip, hair tip? What's a widow's peak, you guys? What are you guys, is it bad? Should I be worried about my hairline? There, now you just can't see it. Don't make fun of me. I'm so, I'm so self-conscious now. Bev has a crew cut down there. I have it too, it means we are vampires. I thought Widow's Peak was like a men's thing. Do people not have this? Do people not have this? Pubic City? <laughs> Berta. Berta, your new name. Oh my god, Berta. We're, we're vampires. Needle Sharp. I think the heart hairline is nice. Classic looking. Amber says she does have it. Widow's Peak, Widow's Peak. Charnay also has one. I wonder if she has a heart shape. My vagine is not, I don't think it's heart shaped. Chris has a Widow's Peak. I don't understand. I'm going to have to Google this Widow's Peak thing because I, I honestly haven't really paid attention and I always just thought that everyone had this. But now I'm going to have to like when I look at people online, I'm going to have to look to see. Oh, my God. I can't believe Berta changed her name to that. <laughs> what did, babe? You're killing me. <laughs> some people have flat hairlines. So some people just have it. So it's like this. This is your hairline. What the F? I had no idea, guys. Hi, Heather. How are you? Thank you for coming, Heather. Imagine YouTube is like, uh, you've been changing your name too often, so that's going to be your name for the next 60 days. Do coochies get a widow's peak? I don't know. I don't know if I have a widow's peak down there. I'm going to have to look. I had one... But my hair is really thinning out as I get older. You're going to lose your hair, Bev. That's so mean, Angie. <laughs> Angie said I'm going to lose my hair. That's so mean, Angie. <laughs> oh, I don't want to lose my hair. Hi, Jenny. Oh, <laughs> I'm going to have no hair and then I'm going to wear a wig. I would be happy to lose my coochie hair. No, she means the hair on your head. Does that, if you have a widow's peak, does that mean you're going to lose your hair, guys? I don't want to lose my hair. Is that a thing? Now I'm all like, now I'm all paranoid and stuff. I don't either, but it is going. But it doesn't mean I'm going to lose my hair when I get older. Is that a thing? When you get older, you lose your hair? Do you, butter. I was thinking, do those like late, those like home removal things where you put like a laser across your skin, do those actually work? 
You have to reach 90s before you lose any coochie hair. No, we're talking about head hair. Like on your head. I don't want to lose hair. Your hair thins at the hairline. Well, I'm going to I'm going to get implants if I lose my hair. Hmm. Your hair thins as you age. Guys, I'm paranoid now. I'm not even that old, but now I'm paranoid. Did Randy respond to me? Randy, answer my question about those like facial those those at-home things. We're not talking about the JJ. We're talking about our heads. Christopher Koala Bear. <laughs> Supplements. I love how uh, Butter just like, I asked her a question and now she's like, be right back, have to get some gluten-free Oreos. And it's like, I love that she just ignored my question and then she has to mention that her Oreos are gluten-free. Whatever, Randy, you bougie biatch. <laughs> Join the club, Bev, because you're in it. Just accept it. Fine. Hi, Pommy Angel. How are you? Welcome. I have one eyebrow hair that now grows about one inch long. Holy, one inch long. Make sure you take care of that. Oh, my God. Thanks, Sandra, for your first weave. Thank you so much, Sandra. <laughs> uh, you won't lose your hair. It just get it just thins and gets more sparse at the hairline. Okay. <laughs> Thank you. Finally, Butter. I hope you have fun with your gluten-free Oreos. Thank you, Butter. I pluck it. <laughs> I don't want old man hairy eyebrows. Yeah, and Clayton was like, oh, I'm like getting, turning into an old man. I'm getting hair in like his ears and stuff. And he's like so paranoid about his ear hair. Get out of here. Thank you, butter. Or a plastic surgeon office. Oh, okay. Thank you guys for dealing with that. I don't mind. Like, I'm kind of excited to get gray hair. I already have some gray hairs, but they're really coarse and like, I don't know, like they're really random. And I try not to pluck them because I'm like, I would like more gray hairs. Like, I would like, if I was going to get gray hair, I would like to have it in like a, a, a streak of gray hair. Like, um, who's that girl from Marvel? The one rogue, the when she has like a a thing of white, or a Stacy London from. Oh my god, what is that show? Stacy London from that makeover show, and she had like the white, and it was kind of like a skunk. That that, Bev and her Merkin. How are you guys blocking them before I even see them? Yes, you are second tier mod. You are. There's so many of them. Hi, Katie. No worries. I was late today, too. What not to wear? Yes, what not to wear. Yes, thank you. I missed that show. I started yesterday. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. I started watching. I started watching Queer Eye for the Straight. Or I think it's just called Queer Eye now. Is it just called Queer Eye now? Anyways, there's a new season on Netflix. Every single episode, I cried at the end. I literally was in tears at the end. I had to wipe my eyes with my shirt. And it was just, that show's so good. So good. I skipped. They were, they were like called to organize a prom. I skipped that episode because I don't give a shit about like the prom thing. I just wanted to see the makeover people. And like every episode was so good. You won't want gray hair when I'm old. Yes, Rogue from X-Men. And Storm? Was it Storm? No, it was Rogue. Thank you. Hi, Irene. How are you? It started graying in the 80s. That's crazy. Yeah, the newest season is so good. You dye your hair to not look older than you are. Oh, that makes sense. 
They made over the kids? Really? I didn't know that. Oh my god, yes, Angel's episode was so good. Literally her and her dad making up and just like coming together. I was like, oh, and I just love how then he just accepted her for her. And it was just so beautiful. So beautiful. Fine, and it, it's raining. That sucks. Oh, in my 20s. Okay. What? Crayon? Who's crayon? Crayon? Is crayon here? Who? Where? You guys, what am I? Oh. Hi, crayon! Hi! <laughs> Took him 10 minutes to load the chat and I didn't even see that he was here. Hi, Crayon. Claytron is Crayon. Are you there still? Crayon, are you still there? Clayton! Clayton! <laughs> he got a new laptop, everyone, if you missed it. Hi, Crayon. I just have... Yeah, I would like little streaks of gray. That is what I would like. That is what I would want. Clayton, are you still there? It's Berta. Berta changed her name. <laughs> I don't think it's Berta, guys. Pretty sure it's Crayon, but that would be hilarious if Berta changed her name in her profile picture. <laughs> Crayon, are you there? Yes, do the deep voice. Butter, I know how you love my deep voice. <laughs> Hi, Claytron. The boys made the boys made cards for you. I'll text you after about it, but I'll they made cards that say we miss you and stuff. And I, and one of them said I love you. It's not me this time. Just crappy internet. Yay, crayons here. That makes me so happy. I love how I didn't even notice. <laughs> it's not Berta. She said, it's not me this time. <laughs> you guys are funny. <laughs> uh, what else was I going to say? What do I have going on this week? I literally have nothing going on this week. Wendy, if you watch the replay of this, because I don't think Wendy is in chat. Uh, she's from Edmonton, too. I've met her once. Um, I'm going to try and come over... Later this week, maybe on Thursday or Friday, I'll stop by and I'll bring by some diamond paintings for you and we can film your video about your completed diamond paintings. Crayon is as talkative in chat as he is in person. <laughs> He's so quiet. My steps. I, I forgot to put this on. <laughs> Clayton has walked 42 kilometers since he got his... his his watch and I keep forgetting to put mine on so I'm gonna put mine on right now thank you for reminding me TSL an eye for the boys um oh yeah I was gonna say I'm film I'm copying Katie Katie I'm copying you just so you know I'm copying Katie and filming a year-end video of all the diamond paintings I've done but also like I don't remember which ones I did this year and the year before that so I think I'm just gonna be like Here's all my diamond paintings I've done up until this day, and then um, then I'll keep track of the diamond paintings I do this year, so at the end of this year I can do a video on 2022 diamond paintings, but literally I have to pull out all my completed diamond paintings from the boxes that they're in, and then make a video, so I'm thinking I might do that tomorrow since I'm not super busy this week, but yeah. Oh, another one! These stupid spammer people need to shut up. Bye, Irene. Thanks for coming. Bev B, you make me laugh so hard. I just love you. Well, thank you. I don't know what I did to make you laugh. Nice work with the Fitbit, Bev. <laughs> Adam even tells me I have good taste. Laura, you do have good taste. Figures, you asked me to plug mine in. You don't wear yours. I know. Okay, well, whatever, Katie. I'm just copying you, okay? 
Laura is Anxiety Art Adventures. I love that Canada uses the metric system, so now I can understand you, LOL. Use Sharni, I forget. Where are you from? Yeah, well, whatever. I just watched, I just watched, um, Katie's, and I was like, okay, well, I'm going to do this, so that's why I'm copying Katie's. <laughs> Actually, no, I have, to be honest, I haven't watched anyone's 2021 in review things. Katie, I just saw your thumbnail. That's what made me want to do it. So I, and Emeralds and Fairy Lights and some other people are doing like whip parades of like their work in progress from 2021. And I was like, I'm going to do one, but I'm specifically not going to watch these people's videos so that mine isn't too similar to theirs. Um, but yeah, I'm sure it will be similar, but whatever. I am from South Africa. Oh, that's why. Right. We were talking about Diane word. That's right, Charney. Laura is a spy. Jeremy is making those sausages. I decided to be lazy and not do a review. I also only had a few finishes. Yeah, part of me is just like, I don't feel, I don't feel like putting together a video and like looking for all my stuff, but I need to organize my completed diamond paintings. I'm going to put them all in my black portfolio and shove them under the bed. So yeah. Yeah, I'm lazy too. I'm lazy too. Steph and Matt don't love me anymore. No hi, kiss my ass, nothing. They didn't say hi to you, Butter. I'm pretty sure Matt or Stephanie said hi to you. Oh, no. They didn't say hi to Katie either. I really think you guys are canceled. Like, they're pretty much canceling you. Clayton, if you're here, I learned that I have a heart-shaped forehead, and this is called a widow's peak, just so you know. And I can't remember if you have a widow's peak or not, but as we get older, we're gonna our hair is gonna start thinning out. And they just told me straight up that I'm gonna lose my hair, so I was pretty in shock. Pretty in shock. Oh, add me, uh, chaotic. Do you did I add you already to? You're in review tends to get lots of videos, so do it for the money. <laughs> I will. I will, Katie. I'll, I need to do a stash video. I need to copy you and do a stash video, but also not have a thumbnail like yours, but kind of similar to yours. <laughs> Who is Katie? Who's Jacqueline? <laughs> is Jacqueline here? Yeah, you're gluten-free Oreos, Butter. I love how you had to mention that they're gluten-free. Hi, Tabby Cat. Hi, everyone. Sorry, I've been lurking and stitching. Thank, want to thank you, Bev and Laura, for enabling me to get my first Craftably and Orlo kit. That's awesome, Crafty Tabby Cat. I'm so happy for you. You're welcome. Let me know how it works out. Who is Bev? You guys suck. Arlene did 4,484 4, steps today. I need to figure out these steps things. Bougie cookies. Another one. Another spam thing. <sighs> it's that same person from before. That's weird. You're not an asshole. Stephanie, don't die. Yes. Yes, it is. It is Arlene. They are delicious. I could just slap her. Slap your mama. <laughs> Isn't slap your mama a spice? I learned that from Queer Eye. Pretty sure. Oh, Lindsay's here. Lindsay. I love how Lindsay doesn't say hi. She's just like, actually, Bev, she needs to mention it's gluten free because they're new and Celex can rejoice and now eat Oreos. <laughs> Sorry. Sorry. Sorry, Lindsay. <laughs> Hi, Lindsay. <laughs> yes, smack my ass and call me Sally. <laughs> Sally, do you have that hot sauce? I'm going to get, I'm going to get normal Oreos. Do gluten-free ones, it costs more? 
Okay, but who's your favorite of the Fab Five? Ah, uh, the Jesus guy. I forget his name, but the the hair guy. I love him. I think he's so funny, especially in the episode with uh, the cowboy. I don't know if you're there yet, Katie, but there's a cowboy and yeah, I think I think he did. He acted more more outlandish to get to make the cowboy uncomfortable and I thought it was really hilarious and especially about the trop, crop top and stuff thin mint oreos are so good the co the ones covered in in mint chocolate oh my god yes Craig hi Craig how are you I didn't know you were here hi Tammy now Tammy now now hello Please don't die, Matt, praying, ah, the rhinoceros. Ah, <laughs> oh, Angie, well, I'm glad that you came. Happy New Year, Craig. Hi, Nancy. I'm lurking with 10,450. Oh, my God. I literally don't know how you guys do 10,000 steps a day. Me and Clayton were talking about, like, Clayton, whatever. He's totally going to hit 10K steps a day just because his work. But I'm like, how do I hit 10 steps, 10,000 steps a day? And it's very cold out, so it's not like I can go for a, a literal walk just to hit those steps. But, yeah. That person needs to go away. It's hard to say the now meow part lol it's read in the spanish way i don't know what the spanish way would be now nail i was thinking it was asian not ale oh tammy not not a not ale is that right tammy not ale like that i was thinking that's why i thought it was asian because i said now uh, yeah, I'm like, I'm going to aim for 5,000 steps because realistically, that's probably something I could do to TSL. Meanwhile, my watch told me I closed my activity rings while I was on the toilet today. Katie, you don't use the toilet, Katie. What? Katie uses the toilet? Katie, you go to the bathroom? For some reason in my mind. <laughs> This is, this is so dumb. For some reason in my mind, I cannot imagine Katie using the bathroom because she's so like, she's so like proper. I can't imagine it. Like, I think if me and Katie hung out and she was like, I have to use the bathroom and she took a poop in the bathroom. And then after I was like, oh, I have to go pee. And then I smelled her poop. I'd be like, I'm smelling Katie's poo. Katie actually poos. <laughs> I would be so, I would be so like, oh my God. <laughs> I was born in Argentina, live in Israel, so people still have a hard time. I could see that, yeah. Nancy says she walks on in Ontario every two hours. Oh, that's sweet. I'm like at 2,000 steps. Katie uses a litter box. Can steps count? I don't know if they actually step, if they count steps while you're having sex. She doesn't have a chocolate starfish. Everyone poops. Isn't that a book? I usually hit 15 to 20k steps. Crazy. <laughs> Chad. Chad, did you hear about the influencer who was selling her farts? Yes, I did hear about that, Chad. Thanks for coming, by the way. Clayton says, steps and pumps are different, but they should count those two. But you might need a fit belt instead. <laughs> Clayton, I didn't even know you're still here. And I love that you come to, like, comment about Katie's sex Fitbit count. <laughs> She can bend, Angie, your sister can bend her own um, singles placer because you just take a lighter to it. I made Clayton do that for me once. I am up only due to my pup having diarrhea and wake me up every hour to go down. Tammy, um, 
I feel like you might have said this. All oh, no, you said this already. But what time is it there? I was like, where are you from? But you said it earlier. Hi, the Chad. Yay. Katie's going to poop. Bev going to run in like Anthony and sniff it. No, I'm not going to sniff it. My old coworker and I would have poop offs. It was it like battleships, battleships. Oh my god! Can we talk about bidets for a minute? Hi, Susie. Hi. How are you? Steps and pumps are different, but they should count those too. Oh wait, no, I already read that. Also late, but in the second half of Laura and my bougie off, we take a turn from the classy and do a fart off. No, that would totally ruin you and Laura for me if you guys farted. You guys, you guys are like, you guys stay, stay pure, stay pure. I don't have a video to do that, Angie, but that's a good idea. I think Rachel Ray has a video on how to do it, Angie. 3 a.m. A Aiko? Aiko? Uh, I'm sorry, he's sick. 20 minutes C is worth 200 steps. Is it? Oh, 20 minutes of sex. I was like, 20 minutes of walking? I'm glad you're feeling better, Susie. I think Katie, whoever she is, should poo in a box. Please don't send me your poo in a box. Please don't. Pure. <laughs> What did baby? No, I don't want a poop jar. I love how people are saying hi to Chad. Katie, I swear, if you poop in a jar and send it to me, I will kill you. Took me three minutes to find that damn hello emoji. It just goes to show you need to spend more time online, Chad. Send chocolate starfish instead. Bougie burps and fart off. No, if you guys did that, I will kill all of you. Also, so I worked at a commercial real estate firm. Chad knows where I worked. Um, I worked at a commercial real estate firm before and there was like this Asian girl and I thought she was so cool because she was like basically the only female salesperson at the time when I, I started there and like I had the biggest, biggest girl crush on her. She like came into the boardroom wearing a wife beat, a white wife beater, black bra and then like just like this like power suit thing with like a skirt and stuff and I always thought she was like super cool I wanted to be her friend we ended up being friends later um but yeah and then I was like one day one day she was in the bathroom and she was coming out of the bathroom and I was going into the bathroom and then it smelled like poop and I was like I think I just smelled her poop and that that brought her down like because I had held her on this pedestal of like oh my god you're so cool I want to be like you like, you're just, like, so fashionable and, like, hot and stuff. And then after I smelled her poop, I was like, oh, you're just, like, you're normal. <laughs> and we were friends. Thank you, Butter. Thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Katie. They weren't hidden. No, they're hiding. They're hiding other. They're hiding that person. Naomi. Who was it? Chad, it was Victoria Pun. Remember, and then she went to work for Nam or Wham Nam. She went to work for Wham after. Oh, welcome to Farface, Tommy. That's so exciting. Welcome. Do 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 that is my or I maybe I should go bzzz fart face <laughs> thanks for joining tammy i'm so excited to have you beaver thinks normal ass people i don't know i just like some people are just very cool to me or i put them into this category and then when they ruin themselves i get really sad i get really sad right chad she was hot she she still is hot um but yeah I have poopery. Laura, don't tell me things about your bathroom. You're ruining it. I don't want to know. Bitch, I didn't get a dance. You, oh, sorry, Steph. Maybe I, I gave you a dance behind the scenes. People ass are awesome. Please don't record your farts. Please, I want to puke. 
This is so gross. Don't ruin yourselves. I don't have poopery. Clayton, if you're still here, we should get poopery for our place. How did she not just keep doing that? Keep doing what? Poopery means you won't smell our poops and keep... Okay, well, you can... <coughs> I don't want a recording of your queef. <laughs> <coughs> That's so nasty. Laura, you kill me. I am dead. I am dead. I am dead. <laughs> you guys, I hate all of you. Just send Bev a fart machine. You guys suck. My dog has a toy look like poop emoji and it farts when it's dropped. That's the best toy ever. Oh my god. Laura, please don't ruin yourself and Katie for me. Please don't. <laughs> Steph, I know that you poop already because you're a gross girl and I'm the same as you. But Katie and, and Laura are like these like people that are like in the bougie box. And I'm like, they don't do that stuff. They don't have bodily function stuff. They don't do that. Now you know how we feel when you show us. Okay, well, I'll never show them to you ever again. Ever again. Sex juice smells. Do you know some men's spunk smells like pineapples? If they eat pineapples, like if they're, if they have pineapples in their regular diet, apparently, apparently, because I've never tried it before. <laughs> apparently their thing smells, their, their spunk tastes like pineapple or it tastes sweet. Your friends sound thick. <laughs> Dead thing in it. It didn't scare you. He's so cute. Ew. Ew. Collecting women's juices to sell as perfume. Ew. Imagine like you bought perfume and then it was just like some lady's jizz that you're spraying. You're like... Do, do, do. And it's just jizz. It's literally straight up. Does jizz get moldy? That's a real question. Let's Google it. Does jizz, jizz get moldy? What? Ew! Oh, uh, I guess sperm, sperm can get moldy. Ew. Please don't. I don't need you to record those sounds, Laura. Okay, Berta. Have fun. Drive safe, please. No, I didn't incognito it, Chad. I get like the most random stuff served to me from remarketing ads because of all the different clients that I work for. And I always look at like random stuff on the internet. So I've just embraced it and allowed Google to allow me to see ads based on what I Google. Freezer, um, what was it? Chris, it actually said... A normal fridge is not cold enough to keep it fresh. Wait. Uh, where was it? Ew. Ew. Milk doesn't stay that long. It will break down fairly quickly and smell and look unpleasant if you try to collect it and and store it. Sperm is rich in nutrient to sustain perma spermatozoon. In that regard, it's similar to how milk sustains babies. I feel like they just made up spermatozoon. Where's the fridge thing? Ew! I have tried eating. <laughs> Ew, okay, I have to get off this. I'll look at it later. I have to stop looking at that. So gross. So gross. Sorry, guys. I totally just went off in my own world. 
You think Katie and I are so bougie? No, you don't fart and poop. Laura, why? Why? Why must you do that? You do not want to see my search history, Stephanie. It's not that interesting. Watch list. Bev could sell her... I want to get on OnlyFans, but I don't know what I would sell. I didn't click images, Christopher. I specifically made sure not to click images. Snake can hold their sperm for a year. Ew. So you're not supposed... No, you're not supposed to make a, a pony jar. Oh my god. Ew, Chewy, it's like turns into bubble gum. <laughs> yeah, exactly, Naomi. Girls don't fart, we fluff. We we floof. It just you just go floof. And then when boys fart, it's like and girls are just like floof. Like floof floof. That's how my farts sound. Floof. <laughs> LOL, ask my kid. When I fart, he announces as loud as he can, Mommy, you pass gas. That's so funny. That's so funny. Oh, my God, Laura. Can old sperm turn into a diamond painting wax? I'm never, I'm never going to look at we wax the same again. Who knows what Laura's doing over there in her test kitchen, right? We wax stock just plummets because of Laura's question. Is that what you're selling, Laura? Use colorful drills. Ew, a pineapple pony jar. So gross. We wax 4.0. <laughs> Laura, poor Laura. <laughs> you guys are so gross. Why am I live? Why do we do this every live? We always talk about gross stuff. Sticky wax. Sticky and stinky. Is that why Adam is always tired? <laughs> Fried Green Tomatoes was such a good movie, Christopher. Ugh, you guys are so gross, literally. I mean, Chris would probably be down for that wee wax. That special wee wax, just saying. Organic formula. True business person does not reveal their secrets. Ew! Ew! Did I miss the wet baby? No wet baby, Susie, you missed. Um, there is there is jizz in wee wax, if you didn't know. <laughs> uh, it's truly an organic formula, according to Katie. So if you buy wee wax, Susie, you get diamond painting wax that has sperm in it. Christopher is like, there's a wax I would eat. Of course he would eat it, Christopher. <laughs> Naomi, she can name that wee wax semen. <laughs> it would just smell like salty. Ew, Matt. <laughs> I'm just glad no one asks what I polish the pens with. So gross, Matt. Ew, this is why I don't have a lazy river wood turning pen. Well, thank you, though. I'm glad that you came, Katie. At least if you're making dinner, that's fine. You're the, you guys are the ones that started it. I think literally Katie said something about using the bathroom or her Fitbit saying something when she was in the bathroom, and that's how it all started. So really, all this gross talk is to blame on Katie, not me. You know how pens look like sex toys? <laughs> gross. Yet, Bev. I will get one one day. I've made it a mission that I will get a Lazy River wood turning pen. I'm going to get another Enablers Outpost pen. And I think that's it. Yeah, that's all. So that's the difference between wet and dry sanding. Katie came while making dinner. Oh my god, Christopher! Christopher! Oh my goodness, you guys are crazy. Literally so crazy. <laughs> Stephanie! No! Oh, Mike's making steak quesadillas in the air fryer? That sounds delicious, Sani. I should use our air fryer more often. Literally, I use my air miles to use them, like my air miles reward miles to get an air fryer, and we barely even use it. I should use it more. 
I would like a pen that looks like a dildo or a bum plug. Those should, that wouldn't be hard to find. There's lots of pens that look like that. Katie, the trick is to work fast. The wet sounding clumps fast. You guys are so gross. Are the pens gluten free? <laughs> Berta's back. Or should we call you pubic? What was it? Pubic City? Mer Merlene PD, eat my butthole. You can eat my butthole, Merlene. You can eat my butthole, you dirty whore. But do they work? As diamond painting pens, they do work as diamond painting pens, but I don't know if they would actually work as a as a butt plug or as a dildo. I'm gonna get banned from YouTube. Charney. Ah, uh, shipping. I totally feel you on the shipping, Charney. How like, cause Canada, even though we're right above the U.S., it's still super expensive to mail stuff to Canada. Like you end up paying like thirty to forty dollars for diamond paintings. It's like sixty dollars, depending what company you order from. So I feel you, Charney. I feel you. Angie is dying. I think, Charnay, what you need to do if you want to have a bunch of stuff sent to you is find a friend that lives in the U.S., send a, get a whole bunch of stuff sent to her house, and then get her to send it to you in one big box. That would be probably more affordable for shipping. Berta will get the jizz of our conversations. <laughs> oh, my God. I eat lots of gluten. Also, yeah, the exchange rate is really bad. I noticed that too. It's good if you're getting paid in U.S. funds, but if you're getting paid in like something else and you have to transfer it to U.S. funds, then it sucks. Really? Lazy River, Matt? Because I've seen people charging like $30 to $40 for shipping a pen to Canada. 15 USD is not bad at all. Charnay needs, I love, I love, uh, Stephanie is like the entitled American. You need to move out of South Africa so that you can get diamond painting accessories. You should move to the U.S. to get diamond painting accessories. <laughs> Hi, Saphir, mama. Saphir's mama, hello. Not the way I ship them. How do you ship them, Matt? I don't understand. How much? 20 South African rands. So how much, how many rands, how, how many rands is it to buy like a meal at McDonald's? Let's say. Judith Melton, suck my big fat banana. You dirty whore. Judith Melton. I don't understand. Like, I, okay, so there's, like, these people that have been coming into my chat and they go into other people's chats, too, and they literally leave, like, a link, but it's, like, a stupid link. It's, like, vast tech or, or something like that, vast space tech or something, and, like, who's actually putting that into their browser to look at these websites? Like, are you accomplishing anything? Are you? Are you? Kristen! Hi, Kristen! I haven't seen you in a while. I hope you're doing well. Bev, no, it's because I watch a lot of true crime and know how unsafe Africa is and how crime is rampant. Ooh. Okay, fine. 70 rand. 70 divided by 20. That's actually not too bad. That's not too bad, Sharnay. My dog is farting and it's deadly smell. Ew. Tammy, I feel sorry for you. No, Stephanie, please don't. USPS, but I fill out the customs form. Oh, well, you're not supposed to admit that, Matt. You're not supposed to say you send it as a gift. <laughs> Steph, I almost timed you out. <laughs> that should be my OnlyFans handle, Nate. Handle, suck Bev's beaver. <laughs> oh, I'm glad you got it, Kristen. 
want to go have these don't tell anyone okay bye sani thank you so much for coming thank you for the call getting me here because i am dumb and i did not schedule it correctly want to go have these what are you guys going have these on on that domain you guys suck oh it's almost time for me to leave too i have six minutes Six minutes, and I'm going to go eat rigatoni. Rigatoni, and then I'm going to play games. Stephanie, stop putting links inside in my chat. Don't abuse the mod, the mod powers. I can make it, I can make it a subdomain on my website too, Lazy River. I can make Stephanie's skunky... Stephanie Skanky Beaver dot Hello Beverly dot com. Laura, you eat Christmas crack? Did you make it with those soda crackers or did you use something else? I made Christmas crack with Breton crackers before um, and it turned out really good. But I think I prefer I think I prefer soda crackers more. Angie, how dare you? Angie! <laughs> Angie knows me so well. Take the garbage out before games. Fine! I don't think Clayton is still here, but literally I need to take the garbage out, Clayton, and I don't want to. But, yeah. Thank you, Angie. I will. Stephanie Skanky Beaver. Oh! Chex Pretzels White Chocolate M&M's Peanuts. Mm, breakfast wraps would be delicious. Bev's beaver brush brush.com. No. No. Clayton, shut up. <laughs> Take the garbage out. <laughs> shut up, Clayton. Why are you here? <laughs> Don't you have stuff that you need to do? Don't you have food that you need to cook? I think I'm gonna eat I'm gonna eat rigatoni and then I'll take the garbage out and then I'll play my games. Recycle too. Okay. <laughs> this is like, Clayton, that box in front of your desk, is that recycling? Take the garbage out, Shug. <laughs> Thank you, Laura. Thanks, guys, for reminding me. Lazy River, do you have a website or sell pens on Etsy? Stephanie, you can put the link in chat for Lazy River. Is that what Crayon says in bed? Take the garbage ticket. <laughs> Thank you, Angie. Stephanie, Link, Link, um, Lazy River would turning Instagram. Fine, Naomi. Naomi, fine. You're right. I'll take the garbage out while I'm warming up the food. Take the uh, garbage out dot com. <laughs> you guys are the worst. I'm sad now. So I scheduled, guys, if you are if you weren't here earlier, I scheduled today's live to go out at 530. But in my head, I was like, it's at 6. But 530 is my old time, but I'm going to be going live at 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time every week. I just accidentally scheduled it for 530, so I came on a bit earlier. Um, but yeah, so 6 p.m. Mountain Standard Time is my live time from now on, so I'm going to go live from 6 to 7. Thank you, Laura. Thank you. Another one, Voom.ong. No one's going to go to your website, bro. No one's going to go to your stupid ass website. You too, Saloma Jared. Ugh. Too many. Too many. LazyRiverWT.com. Yes, that is where you can go to see the pens. Oh my God, Steph, the website is official. Congratulations. They always had a website. Yeah, we don't do MST. It's either EST or PST. Fine. 6, 6 p.m. Mountain Time, 5 p.m. Pacific Time, 8 p.m. Eastern Time. Better? Is that better, Christopher Colosa? 
Take the garbage out sugar.com. I'm going to. You guys. Everyone's everyone's on Clayton's side. I will. I just don't want to go outside, but I have to. Um, if you watch the replay up until this point, leave a comment about something being bushy, whatever. Your your garden being bushy, your house being bushy, something. Yeah, Matt, I really hope you feel better, and I'm sorry. I hope it's not um the crony V. I really hope. Um I'm not. I vote to leave the garbage for seven weeks and then like, Clayton, can you take the garbage out after seven weeks? It probably smells so bad. Oh my God, Steph, shut up. That word is so gross. Okay, I'm going to go now. Bye, Arlene. Thank you so much for coming. Thanks, Chad, for coming. We should connect soon and you can be a guest. Um, thank you so much to everyone who came. Sorry about the mix up on the time. Sorry I was late late but I do appreciate you guys and watch for my diamond painting completed diamond painting video maybe up on Thursday um but yeah so thanks guys I love all of you and thank you welcome Tammy to the hive and thanks for the super chats everyone bye everyone bye